In this overview, we will discuss a new concept introduced in DHIS 229, data level sharing and access control. Data sharing and access control provides more granular control of the data users can see and interact with in DHIS 2. This also allows us to separate out the ability to work with metadata from the ability to work with data. This concept now applies to five metadata objects within DHIS 2. Category and attribute options, data sets, tracked entity types, programs, and program stages. In order to understand this concept further, let us discuss how these new sharing settings affect each of these objects. In this second overview, we will discuss how this concept is applied to tracked entity types, programs, and program stages. As there are quite a number of different permissions associated with each object, this video series will be separated into four parts, discussing each component individually prior to discussing the sharing settings for these three metadata objects together. For an overview on how this is applied to category and attribute options, as well as datasets, please have a look at the initial overview. In the first video in this series, let us start by discussing tracked entity types. When I review the sharing settings for this item, I will see three new sharing options that were not present in versions 228 and below. Data can capture data, data can view data, and data no access. Let us discuss what these different options allow us to do in relation to tracked entity types. To start, let us review the can view data sharing setting for tracked entities. By sharing a tracked entity with a user or user group with the data can view data setting, this will allow them to search for tracked entities using the specified tracked entity type, as well as see tracked entity attribute data values for the shared tracked entity type. As an example, let us say that we have shared the person tracked entity type at the data can view data level with the user group reproductive health managers. We can see what this looks like when applied to the WHO RMNCH tracker program. This will allow the users within this user group to search for entities registered as persons as well as see the attribute values associated with this person entity. Note that with this sharing setting, users cannot edit, register, or delete any attribute information associated with these entities. We can even see that the edit button is not present in the tracker dashboard to edit the person's profile. This setting is therefore ideal in situations where a user or group of users should only be reviewing this information. Users with this setting are also unable to register a new person. If they try to register a new person, they cannot interact with any of the attribute fields as they do not have the proper authority under the data can view data sharing setting. We can also discuss the can capture data setting as it applies to tracked entity types. In addition to the permissions allowed by the can view data setting, this allows users to edit visible tracked entity attributes for tracked entity instances of the same type, register or create new tracked entity instances of the type that has been shared, delete tracked entity instances of the type that has been shared, and deactivate or reactivate those tracked entity instances. In comparison to the can view data setting, we can see that the can capture data setting allows more permissions to actively edit the attribute data associated with a tracked entity, as well as create new tracked entities in the system. As an example, we can review the permissions that are granted when we have shared the person tracked entity type at the data can capture data level with the user group Reproductive Health Nurses, using the same RMNCH program from our CanView data example. Users with this permission have a wider array of authority as it relates to tracked entity types. We can see that users with the sharing setting can search for a tracked entity type and can also review the attribute data values associated with that entity. This is the same as the data can view data sharing setting. In addition, these users can also edit existing attribute data associated with any person type entity registered in the system. Under the data can view data setting, no edit button appears in the profile. In addition, this sharing setting allows a user to register a new entity of the person type into a program.
They can also deactivate or activate a record, as well as delete the record entirely. These options are not available to users that have been granted the Data Can View Data sharing setting for tracked entities, as these items do not even appear in the interface for them to select. Note that in order for this sharing setting to work with the selected user group, these users must have the necessary authorities to perform these functions in the user role assigned to their user. We can see there are some key differences between the Can View and Can Capture data sharing setting for tracked entities. Namely, Can View does not allow the user to directly edit or modify any information related to a tracked entity type, while Data Can Capture provides much more authority to do so. We will continue discussing these concepts in the second part of the series, where we will review data level sharing at the program level in more detail. If there are any questions on the concepts related to tracked entity data level sharing, please do not hesitate to let us know.